How you guys doing today? Have a real treat for us on the channel. This is a Todd Bag Bodega. I've uh, been really looking forward to showing this one off to you guys. Um, just an incredible piece of work. Uh, this has a lot of technical milling, a lot of really cool finishing processes going on. Uh, it's just a um, really <laughs> nice piece of engineering artwork. I'm sure there's a lot of handwork that goes into these. I'm not sure if these are really considered custom knives, if they're considered mid-techs, or what they are. But they certainly are really cool. Really something special. Um, showing off the anodizing here. I love how they do the anodizing over the stone wash right and then they do the milling for the lines here so that's all milled titanium and that milled finish just really pops against that blue really cool uh, some very innovative things were done with this Todd Bag Bodega design it's a few years old now uh, somebody else will know better than me I'm sure when the bodegas come out. I know they've been popular for a few years now, uh, but a few things they did was this, not really subframe lock, I forget what it's called, but it's actually the spring arm here is one piece that's a replaceable piece. Do you see how it's bolted in there? and comes down. And then check this out, the over travel tab is built into the front face. See how that lip will catch there and it closes down. This one is special because it's riding on ceramic bearings. The action is incredible. Check out that gorgeous blade. May have some fingerprints on it. I tried to wipe it off pretty good, but a real cool detail. You know we're going to get a little crazy, talk about the details. Um, check out how this fuller with the holes in it is like a black DLC. You may not be seeing that on the camera, but to do that, it's not quite that easy. That means they probably had to DLC the whole blade, and then they had to grind it all off when they did the grind for the bevel, right? And I believe that's all hand done. Um, the swedges and all that are all hand done. As far as I know, I could be wrong. But there is a lot of handwork that goes on these. That's why I say, I don't know what to categorize this as. It's not really a mid-tech. There is a lot of handwork, a lot of hand finishing that goes on to every single bodega. Um, the field version with where it's all G10, I'm not sure. But I know um, Todd Bag has, uh, it's not a big company, but they certainly have employees that do this cracked ice finish that are doing the anodizing that you know are setting these things up to get all the the mill lines and everything right so what do you call it when there's a lot of handwork that has went into the knife I don't know um, but anyways details here what I was talking about <clears throat> to get that fuller black it would seem like you'd have to DLC the whole knife and then start grinding everything away so like you'd put the fuller in there drill the holes, DLC the whole knife, and then start grinding away because I can't find any other traces that this was a DLC coated blade. So it's really cool just that they blackened up that fuller. You know, it's a detail that you don't really see unless you're really looking for something, I guess, special or why the blade, why the fuller looks a little bit more pronounced than it might in other knives um, and that's why because they blacked it out so check out the overall shape this is a large knife see that harpoon shape um, this is a really really cool design knife and I like how this here you know how I do talk about like why something would look a little aggressive, why something might look laid back. And it's my opinion, but 
how this comes up for the harpoon and then blends in here and then pokes up here too so you kind of have this and that just looks aggressive Does that makes sense like it has a rhino horn like it gives me that feeling if that makes sense and also that cutout lets you um, flip it a little better it exposes just a little bit more of the flipper and your finger when you flip it just kind of rests right there like it just doesn't get any better again flipper comes 90 degrees off that pivot which from my experience has shown me to be about the perfect geometry now I'm sure there's some great flippers that flip from way up here or down here it just seems to me that this usually knives if they come off 90 degrees and the action is good they're gonna have a pretty good flipping action while we're looking at the flipper check out how beautiful it is there are no sharp edges on it um, the detent is so perfect that I don't feel it needs any jimping to aid in any grip of any way. I, I don't slip when I flip this thing. Um, you can light switch it because it's flat on top. You can kind of just push it straight down. Well, that's, that's like a push button. And that's the light switch. You can do it either way. To me, I like the light switch a little better where you just kind of pull back on it let it rip so this has ceramic bearings if I hadn't said that yet there you go IKBS ceramic and these are the loose bearings in there I did not have this guy apart I was warned by the owner that this could be a pain to take apart I know all about uh, the loose bearings so I've just never had a Todd bag bodega apart Um, trying to see in there I can't tell is that detent ceramic I can't tell hmm I don't know I should have brought my flashlight out um, what you can see is the milling on the inside of this you see how there's some weight reduction pockets in there can you see in the in the middle of that handle here Right there, there's some pockets. Some pockets all the way down the knife. So, they're really trying to reduce weight. And really, I mean, it's a pretty heavy knife. I don't know exactly how heavy it is. I would guess that um, maybe seven ounces, maybe seven and a half. And again, I have no idea. That's just me guessing. But it looks like they're trying to take off some weight here with the fuller. And I'm sure that's a lot of design choice. Just to make it look a little more futuristic. You have your hardware coming up here. Right. And you have your full titanium backspacer here. It does stick out a little bit. Is perfectly rounded. Right very comfortable very cool finishing so they've checkered this by anodizing it first and then milling it right so it does add some grip back here it's a little bit raised can you see that and then this sticks out here and then they also sat and finished the highs on that just to give it that two-tone look add some contrast and then you can see that beautifully cracked ice clip that's on standoffs and I hadn't seen this clip before the bodega I'm not sure if Todd actually invented that or not uh, just the first time I remember seeing it so whatever that's worth I like how it curves around here to match the the knife right the knife has this arky type arc to it making up my own language why not and then we have this ceramic ball for the retention in there. I did carry this knife a couple days. Didn't cut with it much. You know, 
when the knife's not yours, you, you baby it. But it rode very well in my pocket. Didn't tug it down or anything. I don't know. Maybe just because I was wearing jeans or something. But it didn't feel overly heavy. It is, you know, like I had already said, it's a, it's a large knife. Trying to get the camera to focus on that blade centering. It doesn't get any better. I mean, I can't find a flaw on the knife. I really can't. A lot of machine time's going. <laughs> a lot of machine time going into this titanium frame, and then to get everything fit and finish wise just matching up perfect. You know, it's not cheap. Uh, everything's contoured beautifully but I think you're getting what you pay for in one of these guys it's gorgeous in the action the blade is a heavier blade it, it is hollow ground has the swedge on it but you know it's still a thick piece of what is this blade steel I don't know I forgot to ask I don't know the blade steel sorry if the owner likes he can comment below <laughs> so anyways here we go look at those ceramic IKBS bearings in there I mean the blade just falls under its own weight and it's not like that will happen if you have a heavy blade the heavy blade really does aid in that so don't let some of those videos and stuff trick you um, if someone's showing you a big heavy knife chances are the blades a little thick and that heavier blades pulling it down so a knife that has a small lightweight blade I just have this one by me this is the next video I'm doing this is that ZT um, it's on bearings too it's incredibly smooth but you know it's it's not going to shake down you can if you really slam it down but because the blade is so lightweight thinner it's just not going to have that same fall down action. Not to take anything away from Todd Beggs Bodega, but you know, sometimes you see knives, you see them on Instagram or even YouTube and the blades are just falling down under their own weight. And yeah, it's a it's a cool more like party trick. Yes, it does show that your action's very smooth and free. But don't let it fool you. Sometimes that weight of the blade too is helping that happen. There is no side to side, no up and down. Shouldn't have to say that. You can see where the lock engagement is pretty early. Pretty early. A lot of people like it like that. Personally, I'd like to see it deeper than that. But, um, you know, I think Todd Beggs knows what he's doing. That's just my personal preference. It's very sturdy, so doing its job. Um, the blue is just gorgeous. If I had to guess, this is right around 25 volts over a nice satin, semi-shiny stonewash finish. Just guessing. Really nice. I mean, I like when you get to looking at this knife all the way around, how nicely contoured that is. And then everything meets up perfectly to this milled backspacer. That's not an easy feat. It's just not. Um, oh yeah, I, I went off on a tangent. I'm guessing most of the weight of this knife is in this titanium backspacer. You know? A lot of people like that solid backspacer. I do as well, um, but that does add a lot of weight to the knife. I mean, you think that's a thick chunk of titanium. And again, it looks like they're trying to mill out as much as they can here. But, um, still pretty heavy. Somebody pulling in my driveway. Very bizarre.
Todd Bed Bodega. An incredible piece. What a fun piece to play with. It's time for me to ship it back to its owner. We just really wanted to show it off to you. Get a look at that blade. Let's show it in hand. I forgot to tell you that. It's awesome. Feels really nice. No hot spots. Does have a choil on it. You can put your finger up there. And then when you really want to choke up on it, your thumb kind of lands right on that harpoon. I love that aggressive looking shape. Right, and then your beautiful grinds here. With that satin. Same satin on the swedge. Take a look at the plunge. Just gorgeous. I love this rolling, sweeping grind line here. Right? And then the contrast on the knife really looks incredible. What I mean by contrast is not only the color, the blue up against the shiny metal here. Contrast being, um, there's a lot of organic lines of this knife. It looks very like Art Deco style. You know, the knife is not like a Sabenza where it's like a straight, it's just very arced and organic looking. And then Todd Begg brought that line so it kind of brings your eye down and down and down. It gives it the appearance that it's actually a little more bent than it actually is. It is pretty well bent, but this is kind of like tricking your eye into coming down. And then the way it pops this up right here. just trying to explain the feeling that it gives me and then they put the texture in here and then they didn't just like do it like straight up and down you know like they set it at an offset like a 45 degree angle which contrasts really well with the way the whole knife's going like this if it's arced you got lines coming this way so your eyes kind of being pulled this way being pulled down this way and it all works Sometimes it doesn't work, you know, sometimes you got your eye going all crazy. But the way he's blended it all together in this full package, it just really works. And then it's not the same texture here as that's on here. But you can see it's got the same kind of like diamond feel to it, if that makes sense. That's like a diamond milled in. I mean, when I'm talking incredible machining... That texture is absolutely uniform the whole way down. And then don't forget that this handle's contouring this way too. So 3D milling at its finest. Pair that up with the incredible precision. So you get that smooth action. And the ceramic bearings. Man, perfectly set geometry on the flipper. Perfectly shaped flipper. Uh, the hollow ground blade cuts great. No hot spots. Pleasure, pleasure to carry and use. And it looks incredible. You know, they're not cheap. But very cool. No hot spots on that lock bar when you unlock it. The perfect detent set. All you got to do is just think this thing open. It's incredible. It's the best action on a flipper I've ever experienced. And part of it is due to that blade being a little bit heavier. It's got a real cool feeling though. The blade is so large. And I don't mean to make it sound like it's super, super thick or anything like pry bar thick. Because it's not. It tapers way down to a nice tip. But there is some weight to the blade, so it almost like has a little bit of a recoil to it. You can almost see the back of this shape just a little bit when it locks. See that? Like it's a little... I'm not doing that. That's what the knife does. Just like a little doing. <laughs> it's cool. You know, when you spend this much for a knife, they got to connect with you. 
in more ways than just being a tool. So, I'm just trying to put it into words, which is hard to do. I'm trying to give you a nice tour all the way around. And we're going to get out of here. Love hearing the crickets. Sunlight's falling. It was a beautiful day today here in North Carolina. Todd Bag Bodega. Let's see if we can get one of these pictures to end up as the thumbnail. We'll find out. Hey guys, I always appreciate you hanging out. Plenty more videos on the way. Um, have a few more higher end knives to show you. I can definitely get my hands on a lot more. I've got a great group of friends that are more than willing to lend some pieces to show you guys. Um, we're just going to see how they go over. Take it from there. I've got some other knives to show you too. Maybe more affordable knives. Stuff like that. Don't want to discriminate. We've got traditional talk coming up. Just lots of things to to do and talk about more customizing stuff you know all right guys thanks a lot have a good one see ya